What's going on my friends? Welcome to another video. My name is Bijan if anyone is new here and we're going to be going over another trade recap here on a losing trade this time I guess you will. I mean t I, it, honestly guys it was even a win to be honest with you believe it or not. We'll get into it here um, but it's a loss regardless. I just wanted to do this trade. I mean really honestly I'm going to tell you guys right now there probably isn't going to be too much benefit, not benefit for lack of a better word. There's probably not going to be too much detail that goes into this video. The main reason I'm making this video is just because I want to follow up on my previous two videos, uh, which basically talked about my trades from this week. And, you know, I, I don't like to, to talk up a big game and then not follow it up for lack of a better word. So in my previous video, which was Wednesday's trade, I basically said, like, look at what we did this week. You don't have to get wild. Look how much we made. Be selective. Do a little here. Do a little there. This is what's possible. And then I basically said, like, look, you know, I might do one more trade on Thursday. I probably won't trade on Friday. You know, it, I, I might make more on Thursday. You know, anything's possible in the market. It could be a loss, too. Uh, but, you know, that's what I was trying to say is, look, we made $5,000 in, in a whole week, so I want to be fair, follow up, show you guys what I did, and we made 5100 I think, this week. Uh, we'll, we'll touch base on it. Um, but either way, that's the reason why I want to go over this trade is just kind of like, you know, I don't want to be talking up a big game saying, yeah, we're making 5000 in a week. Yeah, I might trade Thursday, nothing Friday, and then I just go silent on everybody. You know, I wanted to give you guys some kind of a follow up so nobody thinks that, oh, well, you know, he didn't post today. So that means he probably lost his whole entire account. You know, you know how people are. I'm pretty sure that's like, anyways. So I did my rambling, got that out of the way. So we lost $550 here on CRM today. Now, the reason why I said we technically won is because I got into the trade. Where are we at here? Hold on. This is one day. I need to go two days back. I got into the trade yesterday. I held it overnight. And when the day ended yesterday, I was at a profit. I was at about a profit of, I, I believe, 650 or 750 So the reason why it shows 550 loss on the day is because prior to me closing out the trade, it would have showed like $200 profit loss open and then 550 on the day because yesterday, we ended yesterday with like five or 650 on the profit. And today we started fresh, zero on the day. And obviously today went lower than yesterday. So today we lost 550 compared to yesterday because we got into the trade yesterday. But because we won, made 650 yesterday, it technically was a profit. You guys will see what I'm saying here. I just wanted to explain that to anybody that didn't understand necessarily the profit loss open, the profit loss day. Um, and if somebody wants me to make another video detailing even that, the profit loss open versus the profit loss day, I'll be happy to do so. Just let me know. Comment down in the thing below. Um, comment something nice. Just drop your favorite color in the comments below. Let me just see who actually pays attention to the videos. Okay, so let's do the orders. We're going to jump to the charts and then we'll wrap it up. Again, nothing too crazy that goes to this one. So I got into 500 shares. I almost had 500 trades. 500 shares. Uh, it's a little broken up here for some odd reason, uh, but all of it was at the same time, 637, basically kind of right out of the open. Uh, the price was 221.61. And this is why I say it's a profit. I bought it at 221.61, and then I sold it today for 221.82. So that's I sold it for more than I bought it for, basically. I made like 21 cents, which is like a hundred dollar profit, hundred and five dollar profit. Um, so like I said, it was at a six hundred and fifty dollar profit yesterday. The day closed, so this reset to zero. Uh, obviously, we dropped below where yesterday closed at, so I was less than yesterday, but still more than what I got into that. So just just to kind of clear that idea up there. Uh, so we technically made a hundred dollars on this. So hopefully, you guys don't go dropping a bunch of thumbs down saying, "Oh my God, he commented the title of the video said he's losing money and he still made money somehow." This guy scams. I don't. You know, you know how people get. Anyways, um, hopefully, I, again, I'm just trying to do this video to kind of follow up on my other ones mainly. Um, so that was it, really, guys. I mean, I made 21 cents on the trade, 500 shares. Um, the reason I closed it out is because of the fact that I didn't want to hold it over the weekend. Today is Friday. Um, let me see. Put on a five-minute one for you for right now. And I didn't want to hold it over the weekend. Although it didn't hit my stop and I was still in the trade, everything was still good, I didn't want to hold it over the weekend. I pretty much closed it like 10 minutes before the market closed today, Friday, 
Uh, just because I don't, right now I don't feel like it's a good time to be holding things over the weekend. Plus, there's certain names to hold over the weekend, certain names not to hold over the weekend. And hey, t- tomorrow, no, tomorrow, Monday, if we come in and it gives me a dip to like the 220 area and it holds above it and it just flush right through it and, you know, shows some signs of this, some signs of that, a little bit of this, a little bit of that, you know what I mean? We don't just follow one thing. I might get back into the trade, you know? I might just hop back right into it on Monday and see how it does for that week. So, um, to kind of just jump into the the idea of breaking down where I got in, where I got out, I was in it at 6.37 at 2.21.61, and that was yesterday on Thursday here. Now, originally, I was watching this CRM for a dip to the 2.20 area, and this was something that was also on the swing trade side of the watch list as well. Um, so that's also why I was perfectly fine with holding it overnight, as opposed to some of my other trades might have been day trades, um, which is usually why I've just always close them during the days because that's what I had planned for. But anyways, that's that's besides the fact. I don't want to start rambling, making this video too long. So long story short, we got the dip that I was looking for to the 220 area. It opened pretty much right at 220. So that's why I was watching it. I'm eyeing this 220 area. You know, that's what I threw out into the chat room. Now, as soon as we opened, we just shot straight up to the 221, shot even higher to like the 223 pretty much area. And that was way too high for me. I didn't want to chase it. And I was a little upset. Yeah, man, I missed the trade. Uh, you should have gotten in it. What did it matter? You didn't really need to sit and wait. Watch that 220 area. That was your plan anyways. Just get into it. There's a reason you made your plan. I don't you know, yelling at myself. You know how it goes. Um, but I didn't let it get me all emotional or anything. You know, I wasn't saying, all right, let me just go in and start market ordering in at 223 now, you know, because that wasn't my plan. You see, that's what I mean by stay disciplined. You know, you just go based on how it works for you. Go based on, eh, guys, I'm getting sidetracked. Let's just finish this up here. So I got into it at 637. Why? Because this is right here and it gave us a reasonable dip from this point of like pretty much the 22290 area. We'll call it the 223. It dipped down to the 221, started holding that area, kind of dipped down to my little guy here. And I said, okay, he's holding, holding, holding. It didn't drop out from here, kind of getting up. Go, let's get it. Now, we weren't at the 220 area yet. That was where I initially wanted to enter. So I got into it half size, light size. I got 500 shares. And then it shot up all the way almost to 225. I should have taken some of the profit at the 225, but it happened so quickly I missed it. And originally I wanted to try and see if we can get 227.50 on it and then maybe hold a few for 230 is what I was kind of hoping for. Plus the fact that it was a swing trade as well per the plan. Also told me like, hey, dude, it's not one of those where you need to just like jump out right away real quickly. You can kind of give it a little bit of a time. Um, so anyways, moving forward with this, guys, I don't want to bore you guys here. This is where I got into it. It shot up, pinged that area, gave a little bit of a reversal and kind of pulled back through the day. I mean, I was still good, <clears throat> excuse me, per my plan, if you will. Uh, I had really no reason to get out of it, and that's why I held it overnight is because of the fact that I, well, it didn't hit my stop. It didn't hit my profit target. It was a swing trade. Hold it. That was the plan, you know, so stick to your plan. Now, moving forward, I would have added in at the 220 here if it wasn't Friday. I don't like to trade Fridays. I don't expect much out of Fridays. And on top of the fact that I don't expect much out of Fridays and I don't trade Fridays, I knew I didn't want to hold it over the weekend. So all that tied in together, I was like, all right, dude, it's probably not going to give me the run that I need today. It's Friday, this, that, and the other. I'm not going to hold it over the weekend anyways. My plan, like subconsciously, is at the end of the day, I'm going to close it out anyways. But if it was like a Monday or a Tuesday or something, I would have definitely added in at least another 250 to 500 shares, max to a full size of 1,000 shares at that point. Uh, I wouldn't have gone any bigger on than 1,000 shares on this trade. Um, but obviously, like I said, it's Friday. I didn't want to do that. We dipped right to that 220 area, held above it, held above it. We're still doing good. Um, but of course, like I said, at the end of the day, I checked back in and I said, all right, dude, this is about as high as I'm going to get on it. Uh, the 1250 area, that's where I closed it out somewhere like right around here. Uh, the 221.82 right here, actually, exactly. And then, yeah, it ran a little more to the 225.50 area. So who knows? I might have made a little bit more of like a $500 profit on it. But that's besides the fact. Um, I just wanted to kind of make this video kind of touch base, recap for you guys on my trades from the week, just because I got a little bold in my last video, for lack of a better word, where I was kind of saying, oh, yeah, this, oh, yeah, that. Look at the trades here from this week. Um, I'll do it again real quick. Just, you know, quick minute here. Here. So we didn't have anything on Monday which I think would be in the 7th. Tuesday was the 8th. Wednesday was the 9th. That's where I made my video saying, look, guys, you know, we made 3500 here, 2000 here. It's $5,000 in one week. 
You know, that's more than what some people make in a month. That's more than what my mom made in a month while she was like raising me and my brother and all that nonsense. All right, I'm not trying to get into like a whole life story here or anything. Um, but that's what I was kind of talking up a big game and telling people like, look, you don't need to be in a million trades or anything like that. Um, so I figured since I'm telling people that, there's going to be somebody that said, well, you know, he didn't post on Instagram. I didn't even post this other CRM trade, not CRM, I'm sorry, the Snap trade. I didn't post that on Instagram because I try not to post too much on the Instagram with my profits because then people start complaining, saying, oh my God, all you do is post your profits. I'm like, God, I'm just trying to show you guys and motivate people. Okay. And then when I don't post, people think I'm losing my whole account. So I try to keep a balance. Um, but anyways, that's what this video was all about. Just kind of follow up on that video since I was talking to big game and the other one saying, look, you can make $5,000 in a week, just paste two or three trades. Here we are. We still did make 5,000 in the week. We still only placed two or three trades. We didn't get crazy. You don't see me with a million different trades. You know, I didn't trade Friday just three times in one week. $5,000. Do that next week. Another $5,000. Another five. I mean, you know what I mean? Maybe I might make even more. You know what I mean? It might be a little less. I'm not trying to say this, say that. Um, anyways, guys, we're going to wrap it up here. I'm starting to ramble. Um, so hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. This was, the, I guess, technically losing $550 where I really didn't even lose $550. Um, I made $105. But anyways, we'll wrap it up. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Um, again, watch. I guarantee you guys, watch this video. It's going to probably have a bunch of low views because nobody watches my losing trades, but I wanted to just do it to follow up. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed it. If you guys want to learn how to do this stuff, want to sign up for the watch list, I'll put the links in the description, my social media, who's Bijan T on Instagram, Twitter, and everything else that you can probably think of. I'm probably there. Just go look it up. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Just have a great day, a great night, a great life, and I'll talk to you all soon.